Hello, Electronic Dog here. Welcome to my channel. Today's project is trying to fit a mast to this uh, it's a 400 watt Apollo wind generator and I'm trying to make a coupling that I can fit in here so I can put a mast to it and get it up in the air. And what I'm gonna, what I'm trying to do is use PVC pipe because that's about the cheapest route to go. But the only solution I've found is get an inch and a half coupling and uh, trim it down about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths, so it'll fit inside of here. And then I'm going to drill a hole and tap it, and drill a hole in this and tap it also so I can get a screw to fit in there so it won't turn. I don't trust the clamp. I think it'll turn a little bit if I do that. And then I'm going to adapt it to, uh, here's my little cut off of inch and a half pipe. Well, here's my adapter all assembled. This, remember, this is going from inch and a half. Actually, I trimmed it down to inch and two and one eighth inches, and it's expanding to two inch, so I can put a two inch pipe. Well, folks, there it is, all assembled and tightened down, ready to accept a two inch pipe. And I, I think this will be plenty strong enough. I'm gonna try to get it about 20 foot above my roof. My roof, <coughs> roof of my house is probably up there about 40, 30, 40 feet. If I can get another 20, I'll have at least 50 foot into the wind, and this thing ought to turn real nicely. But I, I bought this on eBay for, it's uh, called Apollo. It's 12 volt DC, 400 watt, for $259. And uh, the price is so cheap, I just had to go ahead and get one. I add this to my solar, and total I'll have about 500 watts coming in the house. And that should take care of my day, daytime use, except for my air conditioning. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And oh, uh, the way I turn that mm, down sorry about I, that, I, my camera cut off for some reason. Anyway, the way I turn that down was I just put it on a grinder. I, I marked the edge of the pipe in about an eighth of an inch. And I just cut it down with a grinder, and then I went over it with a with a orbital sander and smoothed it out, and it fit in there real good. But anyway, that's about all I got to report for now. When I get it up flying, I'll make another video with the mast and everything and the guy wires on it. Thanks for watching. I think I need to explain something on this pipe here. The the pipe is an inch and a half. The coupling it had to fit into a coupling uh, to go into this collar on the deal on a wind generator because the collar is the most it'll expand is it is two and an eighth inches and the reason I had to grind it down is on the on the uh, inch and a half coupling it was uh, it was two and a quarter inches so I took an eighth of an inch off which isn't that much you got to trim about a sixteenth all the way around and it'll fit in there but anyway these are, I'm talking when I'm saying pipe I'm I'm talking about the the uh, coupling on them and this is also another coupling going from inch and a half to two inch you got to get a, a reducer a two inch reducer and reduce it down to inch and a half and put everything together and this is what you're going to come up with so I needed to clarify that well that concludes another video but as always please rate and subscribe the buttons down below have a great day youtubers <laughs>